Hello friends, uh, welcome back to our channel mysmhelp.in. In this video, we will look about the SAP user exits. Um, you know, uh, this is actually, we will also help you to understand what this user exit is about, what are the things that we need to take care and how do we find the user exits also. Yes, I did. So what is an user exit? Okay, uh, user exits, you know, user exits are used when there are uh, when we are trying to configure some business processes and if there are some gaps uh, if you cannot define it through a standard configuration but then you can achieve through some custom coding okay but then we should have some uh, exit points for it right so for that sap has itself created some exit points those are all create called as user exits okay uh, here it allows you to create your own logic and uh, these uh, predefined points where you can branch out from the standard code come out from them you know perform your logic and then give the data back to the standard code and it gets processed okay these predefined points where you can go out of the standard code and do your own logic these are called as user exit points okay uh, generally we call it as user exits okay uh, then uh, these exits uh, needs a lot of technical knowledge because uh, you need to first identify them and then you need to keep a breakpoint and check whether uh, for your business process that particular exit is getting uh, the data is coming to that uh, stopping at that uh, particular breakpoint so these are things that you have to evaluate it okay once you evaluate it if you find okay you are able to come and stop that particular at that particular user exit then you can write the code whatever the sap is uh, I mean, the process requirement is there that you can put it inside the exit point okay and also what is important is these exits uh, are whenever you are going to upgrade anything uh, you should make sure that it's all taken care because uh, so th there can be some instances when there are uh, changes in the uh, user exits like when you move from ecs to s4 hana some functionalities would have changed and then you need to evaluate it okay that is very important and then we should the testing is also very important okay because it's a custom code we need to go for positive testing, negative testing, non-regression, all this done will keep the system stable. Now let us get into the system and see how do we find the user. So now we will get into the system. So you have to use the transaction code yes mode. Then you will get the details like this. We will see a demo in the system. How do we find it? So whenever you are in the SAP, so you can give the transaction code yes mod. That is yes mod. When you give the transaction code yes mod, you can see this particular screen has come. This is called as the SAP enhancement screen. So here you can go here, you can put in your for help here. Then you go and click the SAP applications. So we can click the SAP applications. You can see oh, uh, they have given the modules and they have given uh, if you you can go one by one. So inside the module, then there are also the sub modules. What is all all those things they have given. Now maybe I will take this one production orders. So here again that they have given which areas, you know. And now let me go to the order processing. So you can see inside that there is a confirmation and then confirmation. Like this, they have tried to branch it out. You can see this much exits have been given, okay. So some of them uh, for PP, PM, PS, all those things are there. We have to go a little deeper. Let us take one of them. Okay, let us take this one, enhancements in order confirmation. You select this. Uh, you can go and display this when you display you can click the components and then you can see this is for some dx in your functions if you want to understand what is that so most of them has documentations and sample codes so we just select this so this actually talks about this to hide functions in confirmation transaction so it has they are defining what it can do here okay so this is how we will be able to identify an exit so you can go to that application select your module and some of them has also given some sample codes also um, so like this and in case if you wanted to stop this you can try to keep a breakpoint here and then you should try to see uh, during that particular transaction uh, you know whether you are able to stop this particular activity uh, since we are we have taken confirmation so this confirmations you know like co11 co11n like that we have to execute it and see that one so this is a simple video to help you to understand how do us how do we find it find a user exit for a particular module in a particular area okay thanks for watching this video guys uh, if you have any uh, questions or doubts uh, feel free to drop a comment 
we will take it up from there okay thank you very much bye